evening card collectors black friday i've seen these at, uh back it up here a second I've seen these at uh dave and adams and uh steel city collectibles and blowout cars they're the collector's box they call them uh, seemed like they went for about 30 bucks all year but Pretty much right now they're in about the twenty dollar range. I think that's probably as cheap as they're gonna get. Uh, blowout had them for about eighteen bucks here a couple days ago. Plus another Black Friday bargain that I was so stupid I didn't jump on. Uh, Beckett had a dollar for a digital subscription, and I think it was for a year for hockey. For a dollar I think that's what I saw but I didn't jump on it for some reason so I was so frustrated that they wouldn't honor one of my other coupons it was like three years and three extra issues for like I think a hundred bucks or something but they didn't have it on the website and every time I tried to find it on the website it direct me somewhere else you know it was goofy. It only let me do like one year for like about 40 bucks and one issue. And I was like, now nah, just do eBay. You know, completed listings for the last, what, 60 days. And then you can tell what's going on. No Dodgers. No Dodgers. We want Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge, because I don't want Altuve. Uh, who else is there? Seems like there's a. Seems like there's a Red Sox. I think it's the other one. I can't remember. No Dodgers. Oh, it's a freaking Dodgers. <laughs> oh crap. I knew I should have bought more of these when I had the chance. I think that's the same one. Good old Clayton. Let me check my other one real quick. I'm sure it's the same one. Bother me if it's a if it's a variation of Clayton, but nope, it appears to be the same one. Yeah. Ah. I'd probably sell mine, but uh. I don't want to pay for shipping for that. So it's like, to me, I might just do a card shell next year or something and take it to the card shell and sell it. Crap. <laughs> All right. Well, only one thing to do, open another one. We'll set these packs here a second. I got it. I should have bought more of these because that I know I knew it when I bought them that was the cheapest I was gonna find them at and I didn't tell you guys in the other videos because I thought maybe I'd be able to go back and get some more so yeah and I should have just I should have ordered the other night I should have just went to town because I knew it seemed like that's how they did it last year they enticed you made you think it's all gonna happen on Black Friday but it happened on the the week following up to Black Friday. That's where all the, it's like, but only, every site only had like maybe one or two really good deals to entice you. 
that and they did away with all their little uh, coupons because they're giving you Black Friday pricing. All right. Ha. No Dodgers. Ah. Come on now, baby. Ah. Come on. Open up. Don't resist. Ah, come on now, really. Get your butt open. There we go. No Dodgers. No, Do no Altuve either. We don't want Altuve. Oh, Aaron Judge, come on, man. I can't think who else we got. Oh, we got Buster Posey. That was the other guy. So that's, you got Aaron Judge, Buster Posey, Bellinger, Altuve, and uh, Kershaw. So good deal. So these are sweet because they got the 82 like card back design. I think they're cool. I'll pop it out of there. These are sweet. Check with us. Some detail on them there, you know. I like them. Right, back in the box, Buster. Uh oh, there's stuff up here. Uh oh, it's Jim Zobble. Jim Zobble's gonna get messed up on his first day broadcasting here at the One Two Three Studios. One Two Three, I went again, Studios. Yeah. All right. So now, now we have a big pack attack. Oops, I forgot to put my styrofoam in one of them. What was that? Must have been the last one. Must have been Buster of it. Give me just a second here, guys. Got that set halfway completed. I just need the Altuve and the Judge. Woo! Man. Hope I get them. <laughs> I think I can get them boxes for 20 bucks tonight online. Like I, I have to buy me another one. I just hate paying more than what I could have gotten for. I just I feel like a loser. I pay even three dollars more, but <clears throat> I'm sure they'll go back up to about thirty dollars once Black Friday specials are off. I mean, they'll probably go on sale for Christmas, but I don't see them getting any, any cheaper than twenty dollars anymore. I, I think I just had a really, really lucky find there. Uh, Sean Murphy, yeah, I'll probably buy. I'm, Man, I want to buy a uh, stadium club 2020. I've seen that on Black Friday. Can't remember who had it exactly. I'm guessing David Adams. I think it was $100. But, of course, you got to spend 200 to get the free shipping. So, Anthony Rizzo. Let's enjoy what I got, I guess. <clears throat> Cooney Jr. Roll call. Carlos Carrasco, he's been with the Indians for a while, I think forever for him, comeback player of the year award winner, his comeback still Carrasco's was among the most dramatic, the heartwarming ever, and heartwarming ever, diagnosed with leukemia in June of 2019, he returned to the mound Less than three months later, the American League Comeback Player of the Year, working out of the bullpen, contributed contributed to two victories 
and to save down the stretch in September as the Indians fell just short of postseason berth. Mike Byers. I get my little sales pitch in there. There we go. Christian Walker. Yeah, I hit two targets today. Uh, the Valley West and the Merle Hay. And all I've seen at both locations was a uh, Tops update and then probably some wrestling and hockey cards. But I don't pay much attention to them just because my money pretty much runs out after I collect, you know, football, baseball, and basketball. So, gotta save money for food. Nothing sounds good. Well, except firing up the grill. And tomorrow's supposed to be nice weather. So, I might go rake some more leaves tomorrow and fire up the grill. Probably for the last time of the year. I'm surprised I got to do it this long. Kyle Lewis. That's a neat card, too. I like to have it horizontal, you know. <coughs> Woo! Brian Anderson. Jake Rogers. Paul DeYoung. Defensive Wizards. I'll speed up every now and then. I just... I see what time it is, and I try and keep my videos under 20 minutes. I don't know why. But if we're having fun, we're having fun. But And really, I think I could almost, I think I deleted enough stuff to where I can probably make a 45-minute video, probably, and not have any problems, as long as I keep deleting them after I download them. That's a neat-looking card. Patrick Corbin, Michael Conforto. Get me a drink here, real quick. I accidentally froze my Mountain Dew in the freezer. cold. Uh, yeah, I'm not keeping track of which box he come from. I'm just glad I got a Buster Posey instead of another Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw is probably the better one to get out of him, maybe. I think it belly him. Try that in the, uh, that'd be what, his second year? Wouldn't be considered a rookie or anything. Jacob DeGrom, Christian Yelich, Starling Marte, Ozzy Albies, Gene Segura, uh, not Aaron Judge there, I imagine. No, that's Glaber. Jock Peterson. I like the color of them orange. I don't know what it is, man. It's just it's so eye-catching. <laughs> Maybe it's Polk County orange. Like the prison jumpsuits. <laughs> Growing up, I had the you know twelve inch GI Joes, and they had a adventure team. It seemed like they had, 
they wore an orange jumpsuit. Award winners, Carlos Carrasco, Tommy Edmond, Cardinals, another Carlos Carrasco, okay, so they're different though. Isn't that who we start out with tonight? Well, yeah, that's just a Carlos Carrasco tribute. That's what I told you about earlier. We'll come back. So that's our theme tonight. Good old Carlos. Lourdes Guerrero Jr. Eric Hosmer. Oh. Catel Marte. Bryce Harper. Josh Bell, Mike Trout, Yin Yin Ru, hope y'all got some bargains on Black Friday, yeah. I wanted to go get me a new computer, even just a cheapy cheap one, just uh, so it'd be fast. Mine's just old and slow, and I'm not too uh, high tech or whatever, so I'd probably do more harm than good when I get in there and try and clean it up or whatever, make space. So. Bo Bichette, rookie, highlights. Mike Trout, award winner. Matt Olson, Renato Nunez, Manny Machado. Now that color would look better if he was Baltimore Oriole, but you know, yeah, that'd be a good uh, parallel card for Orioles fans. Wilson Contreras, Anderson Munoz, Jordan Alvarez. Oh, and Astros fans would be a good, good colored card. Ah. So we're halfway through, stack the packs. <coughs> I got a lot of sorting of these few. Uh, four boxes. So. I wish I wasn't so lazy and do some PSA and get some sent in. So I'm just not comfortable doing that because I've never done it before the PSA I've submitted a couple to BGS and I seen where they had half price the other day and I should have jumped on that but of course that comes back to procrastination to where I'll go do dishes or go out and play in the yard a little bit or something and I'll you know, watch TV and then pretty soon you rip a couple packs and then I'm too tired to get on a computer and do all that stuff so I need to buckle down and get some cards sent in and get graded. Graded, get them sold, and help pay for my hobby. Because as you all know, it gets expensive once in a while. Which is every time you go out and do it. If there's any more, you got top loaders, or what, about six bucks for 25 of them. They're pretty much double what they used to be. Sleeves are pretty much double what they used to be. No longer penny sleeves or two penny sleeves. A lot of the problem is just the time it takes to get it from China over to here and through customs and all that. So I guess about the time baseball season hopefully kicks in next spring we'll get a shipment of supplies. I guess you'll have to stock up on your rookie top loaders and your soft sleeves. Because it'll probably be another long haul before the second shipment. So you'll probably have a shortage of plastic or something next. Brandon McKay. Rookie. 
Pete Alonzo. Big League Leaders, ERA. Union Rue, Jacob DeGrom, and Mike Soroka, of the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, see, I wouldn't even thought about Mike Soroka, of the Atlanta Braves, but. A lot of them third place guys always get swept under the rug. You don't hear as much about them. You hear about first and second place, but you gotta dig a little deeper for third. And usually history repeats, because they, as long as they don't get hurt, they usually come back the next season and have another second good season. But it's once they get hurt, and then it is, it's career changing for them. It's, usually they don't come back as good. Ah, finally a Royals, Michael Franco. I think he was a Philly product, wasn't he? I am correct. Well, he does all right. Looks like he puts up around 20 home runs. About, uh, what? This is 249 average. What do you do for the Royals? Show. Dominican Republic signed the Phillies in 2010. So they got 10 years experience. Hopefully he does good for us. Here's in position: Jack Flaherty, Cardinals; Jacob Degrom, Mets; Hinyan Ru. Yeah. Hinyan Rue should have definitely stayed a Dodger. I mean, for one thing, he, he would have had a championship ring. I just think it would, they would have dominated then, probably. I mean, it, you know, at least this year, they. I mean, it was a good series, I guess, but I think it would probably be a fly if he would have been. Oh, and there, Carlos. Victor Robles. Jorge Blanco, George Springer, and Howie Kendrick. Ooh, we're up to 22 minutes now. We've got two packs there. We'll keep it under 25. Jonathan Villar, Max Kepler, Brandon Woodruff, batting average leaders, Christian Yelich, Cattell Marte, and Anthony Rendon. So the second two you don't hear much, but they're game changers, man. I'm telling you. Stats do not lie. Alex Smith. Nicky Lopez, second baseman for the Royals. Jacob DeGraw, award winner. Aaron Judge flipping out. Tommy LaStella, Jeff McNeil. And one last pack. Alvarez and McNeil on the front. McNeil is in the last pack there. Could that be a sign? Did we get Alvarez out of that last pack? I don't think so. I think I'm just goofing on Elvis at this point. All right. Machado again. Uh, oh, yeah, that was an orange parallel we got earlier. Jose Urquidy. Aristides Aquino. Rookie. Gavin Lux, rookie. Oh, yeah, we always get a silver. Oh, we're having to our silver last time. Yeah, we should add another silver. They shorted us the silver, guys. Hear that, or I somehow passed it up, and I don't see how I would have did that. Huh. 
Yeah, usually you get one silver per box, so. And I don't remember getting no autograph either, so I'm bummed. So, yep. Yeah, that stinks. I wonder if I was a card short. I'd, I mean, you know, card number wise. Huh, that stinks, but there's our car, silver card. Ezon Diaz. And it kind of looks like it's got uh, somewhat of a crease going across a little bit of it. But it's numbered 95 out of 100. I don't know if you guys see that little bit of a... I uh, can't really tell from the camera, I guess. Oh, still pretty sharp card. Still good condition. I, I, I wouldn't call it mint, that's for sure, but I would call it... Uh, uh, probably wouldn't even call it near, well, maybe near mint. I guess I'd go near mint. Near mint to excellent, but. Second baseman, Ezen Diaz. Nice black border on the back. A little bit of chipping there. See that, a little bit of white there. That's, that is what it is. I could probably send it in. But they copy my receipt and it probably cost me about, you know, five dollars postage. And really, if I'm going to spend that much time and effort, I should do that and just get something graded. Nolan Arenado, Matthew Boyd, Xander Bogarts, Hits Leaders, and Chris Davis. Hits leaders. We've got an old Whit Merrifield there on the front, so that's always nice. And of course, he's number one with 206. This is 2019, but also he he might have led uh, 2020. I'd have to look to see who the hits leader was for 2020. Uh, Raphael Devers come in second place, and I'm not sure uh, if how good a year he had this last year either. But uh, seemed like he had an average year. Then DJ Mayhew, and I think he had another decent year too. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, but yeah, twenty bucks ain't bad for these. So if you're on that Black Friday shopping and wondering what they are, this is this is what it is. And you get a silver parallel, supposed to per box. You get your figure, and then five hobby packs, ten cards per pack. So, pretty good deal, uh, especially if you would have got it for what I got, but. Uh, 20 bucks. Uh, I might have to get another one because I gotta get uh, my Aaron Judge and uh, uh, Jose Altuve. And then I'll have my set completed. So, thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the holidays and your family, friends, and your hobbies.